Hello Indie Game fans, for as much as I love pixel art titles, it's nice to have some variety once in a while with gorgeous non-pixel art entries, so here are some beautiful upcoming indie games, with special mention going to the Creon Shinchan game for Switch, just covered in a recent video, so do check out that video linked above if you have not, but let's get into the list. We begin with Poto Viejo, a stunning hand-drawn adventure where you play as a curious young boy who wants to follow in the footsteps of his father. I was immediately drawn in by the look of the pot right at the start of the trailer, which then revealed some great looking character portraits and environments as well. Rather than a classic adventure game, this instead comprises of a series of mini-games which actually don't look very complex but worth it for the art alone. A title which has been kicking around for a little while is Genesis Noir, a simple but stylish looking adventure game that spans across time and space. While well, essentially line art, this is used in conjunction with particle effects, lighting and full 3D effects to give it a very unique look. Interesting setting as well, since it stars cosmic beings where the Big Bang was actually a gunshot fired off by a jealous god, so an adventure of cosmic proportions that is not to be missed. It still has a tentative Q1 2021 release window, where we are running out of time, so perhaps a delay or a surprise release in the days to come. Cheating a little on this one since Nairi Rising Tide is the sequel to Nairi Tower of Shirin from 2018, and while it shares the same art style, I am as impressed as I was then with regards to the series. You are now exploring the middle district of the corrupt city of Shirin, continuing your journey on a quest to save your family. The developer has taken into account player feedback and added in quality of life improvements so it will be easier to get into, but it's otherwise a very classically designed adventure game that simply looks awesome.
I realize that there are lots of adventure games in this list, but I guess great art and this genre go hand in hand since you do actually have some time to sit back and enjoy the visuals where I was so very impressed with the details of Slice of Sea. You play as Seaweed, a creature from Daymare Town, so some spooky cute designs and a central mystery of interest. I've had my eye on Charged Blade Hero ever since one of the Steam Game Festivals from last year, where the look of this action platformer continues to impress. This is a new trailer which shows off more of the combat, but things like the detail in the weapon store just shows the amount of effort put into this, not to mention that iconic scene with the statues and even a nicely done overworld map. Alright, so hand-drawn might not be the best way to describe Papitura, where handcrafted is perhaps the verb that is more accurate, but I do still think that it's an impressive, gorgeous piece of work that has to be mentioned. Everything in this game is literally handcrafted out of paper and then captured and put into the game with an unsettling theme where our heroes have to stop monsters who just want to watch the world burn. Dogdonia before and always get nervous since I tend to screw up the pronunciation, but it's a gorgeous watercolor adventure game where you revisit the house of your late grandmother only to uncover letters and puzzles left by her, which has you going on a journey to rekindle childhood memories of summers spent in the titular region. Family, if you're fortunate enough to have a good one, is often the most important thing in a person's life, so exploring this sure seems wholesome as the protagonist relives her childhood. Such great art and a real no-brainer for this list, there appears to be a nice variety of activities to do as well, so plenty to love and to keep an eye on for this year. One of the most intriguing prospects in development is Book of Travels, kickstarted in November 2019 and is an online multiplayer role-playing exploration title, so how's that for unique? It's certainly no MMORPG, but instead has you travelling across the peninsula known as Breeded Shore, wandering in the wildlands or exploring vibrant cities. There's a wordless communication system using symbols, but interestingly, RPG and survival systems as well, like magic skills, passive feats and more, all feeding into the exploration systems. This game draws inspiration from Eastern mythology and old world fairy tales, so very mystical and interesting, where you can encounter other players to share your stories, but those encounters are expected to be few and far between. Very impressive look as well, with gorgeous environments to explore. This gets a high spot not only because of the look, but because of how unique it is.
The hands down most gorgeous non pixel art title in development has to be Hoa, which wowed when it was first revealed, being a puzzle platformer with a Studio Ghibli like look, and just wow. Amazing blue skies and the look of sunlight streaming through the forest, and with the plan released next month, we are in for a treat, taking the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos, and I will see you after the jump.